Hey YouTube, so here we are with the unboxing and as you can see we've got the Fitbit Inspire 3 by Google. It has got the by Google on the box now. So Fitness Inspire 3 health and fitness tracker. I have just purchased from Amazon. I will put a link below. This will be the fitness tracker that I'm using. It's not been gift or anything like that. I've personally bought it because it's the fitness tracker I want to use to help me lose some weight. So if you want to see real life reviews, please subscribe and I can tell you how I'm getting on with my journey, hopefully quite well. Uh, but let's get back into the boxing anyway. So Fitbit Inspire 3, health and fitness tracker. On the side, you've got some information about the Inspire 3, the fact it includes six months Fitbit premium membership, so I'll be taking advantage of that. Also says includes small and large bezels, bands, sorry. On the back, move more, stress less, all you have to do is wear it. So apparently it's as simple as that. I put it on and I'm going to lose lots and lots of weight. Uh, shame it's not going to be as easy as that. Uh, and then you've got it in different languages as well. You've got an image of the watch and the fitness app as well. And on the side, you've got some more information. Uh, it says black case, a midnight zen band. And then you've got it in different languages as well. And at the bottom here, you've got your Google logo and a scan me so let's look on the back and the bottom sorry we've got the information here to do with the markings and approvals etc and right here where the arrow is pull that oh i feel satisfied and then from here just pull and out it comes from the box and the box out of the way and here just a white case and you possibly, or you probably should be able to see it just here, the Fitbit logo. Okay, we'll go ahead and open up the box. And here we go on the inside. So you've got a quick start guide, you've got download the Fitbit app, charge to 100%, sync with the app, any issues, learn more. And here you've got the watch itself, the power, and the style, so it's saying here you've got your power um, charger and you've got your extra band. And let's go ahead and take this out here, see if there's anything below it. Let's put the watch there for a sec. And you've got the product information sheet here, which will just give you basic instructions and information, etc. etc. going through it. Again, lots of different languages. Put that to one side. And inside the box, welcome to the Fitbit family. Uh, if you have any questions, let us help, visit myhelp.fitbit.com forward slash go for friendly one-on-one -on -one support with returning to your retailer. Okay, so that's if you've got any quick questions or anything like that, you can check it out before, before you have to return it. And that's it. That's the box. And then here's the bit that we're mainly interested in. You've got the watch. And like I said, you've got the power, you've got the style, flipping it round. Nothing else to see. So let's slowly try and take the watch out. If it will come. Okay. Let's do it slightly differently. Sorry about that, uh, YouTube. My phone actually started to try and install the, uh, the Fitbit itself. As you can see, it's actually made the screen come alive as well. So we need to get the watch out. So give it a gentle pull. And there's the watch. And at the moment, it's got like a paper cover. And just need to unpeel this. Take it round, around the back. It's quite well stuck together, those actually. But just gently pull it and away it will come like that. Let's put it again to one side. So we've got the watch here. As you can see, it is starting to try and download. It's also saying it's got no charge and I need to download the app as well. But let's go ahead and have a look at the watch itself. Let's pull the band out. It does come as a default with its smaller band than the larger band. Okay, pull it out. And as you can see, the watch front and back with the black bands. And on the back here, you have got the sensors. So there's lots of different sensors which do lots and lots of different 
things. And on the side, you have buttons and another button. It's like a haptic feed button, so you press it. And that is that. So let's try the challenging thing. Let's see if we can actually remove actually before we do that let's see what it's like size wise for my wrist it might need a bigger band i'm thinking it's going to yeah it will definitely need the bigger band for my what my wrist definitely 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 so let's see if we can try and take it off and i can show you the principle of doing it so there's a pin right there so we need to look at moving the pin like that, put it down and away it comes and then I'll do the other side as well because I will need the larger strap which I will do later. So that's quite easy to take out, I believe it's a little bit more difficult to put in but we'll try it, I've never done this before so I'll be a good guinea pig for you I guess. Uh -huh. So they say line up one side and then line up the other with your pin in place. Okay, nearly had it. Right. Looks like for me it's going to be a little bit more tricky. So what I will do is I will put it back in and then come back to you. I've got the strap back on. It was a little bit of a pain to do. I've just put the thin one back on, the small one on for now, because uh, I want to show you the rest of unboxing before I mess around with anything else. So it was a little bit of a pain to do, but it is back on. It's very fiddly. Uh, you have to pull the pin down, push it in, let the pin up, but it is a bit of a pain. So let's put the watch to one side and show you what's in the rest of the box. So in here, it says we will have our bands and our power cable. So let's see if we can get that out for you. First of all, the charger. Now, this is a USB-A, I believe, so just a standard, so not USB-C, unfortunately, which is a little bit of a disappointment, so charging will take a little bit faster. Also, no plug. No getting plugs anymore on anything, which is, I was trying to save the environment, but it's very difficult for us as a consumer. We then have to go through drawers to find a plug. And, and here, you've got the charge point for the watch, and you've got a clip there, a clip there, and the charge pins there. Which again, let's try it. It should, in theory, just click into place on the back, just lining up the front and back bits. Yeah, that was actually quite straightforward. And then it's in, plug it in and get charging and see how easy it is to take off. Hopefully so. It doesn't come off very easily, which in some ways is good because it means you won't break it very easy. There you go. Charger. Watch. And lastly, we'll have the other band which hopefully is in the colour black, otherwise I will have a bit of a shock. There we go. One part of the band. And that is it. That is the whole of the unboxing. That's everything that's there. Very simple packaging. And you've got the band here. And this is the longer band, which will suit my wrist better. I've got quite a wide wrist, so I will need this one. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put the strap on for you so I can show you what it's like on the wrist. See you in a sec. And here we are YouTube. I've got it on my wrist. I'm going to be wearing it on my right wrist because I will still be wearing my normal watch on my left wrist. And it is only a fitness tracker. It's not a smart watch. I wasn't after a smart watch. I didn't want to spend the money of a smart watch. The idea for me for this is just to help me with my fitness goals. So I'll keep this on my right so I can wear my normal watch on my left wrist. And so far, pleased with it. Now I'm going to give it a charge, have a play with it, start tracking stuff, and see if I can lose some weight with its help. Also, like I mentioned earlier on, if you are interested in a real-time review, then please subscribe so you don't miss out. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.